So editor config is a little bit again out of the scope of this video, but what we're going to do is look at installing this package and then creating an editor config file. And all editor config is, is a package that allows you to port over an editor config file around with your project that keeps things consistent. So we're not diving into that too much. We'll just look at an example. So the first thing I want to do is install this package. So it's editor config. Let's go ahead and install this, wait for that to download and it is done. So for example, let's say I have some kind of PHP file here. So we know that when we looked at our settings, our default settings, we saw that I set things like translate tabs to spaces. Now, if you are working on a project, perhaps an open source project and people are downloading uh, your code to then contribute to, they might not have this set. So what you can do is commit with your project an editor config file. And that is just a dot file and it's just called editor config. So we create this file, we port this around with our project and it means we can set the standards directly within here. And as long as someone has this editor config plugin enabled, it means that everything will just happen automatically. So just for the purpose of this, why don't we get rid of translate tabs to spaces, or we can just explicitly set it to false in here. So that means that inside of my index file here, when I do a tab, I'm actually seeing a tab character. That's what that line just there means. So let's go and set up our edit editor config file, and I'm gonna set the root to true here. You can obviously read more about this uh, on the editor config website. And I'm going to set my indent style equal to a space. I'm going to set my indent size to four because I know I want four spaces. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to say end of line equals LF. That's just the type of end of line. And then I'm going to say insert final new line true. So the last thing we need to do is just specify what these apply for. You can obviously choose different patterns here, but I'm just saying, well, I want these settings to apply to all files. So let's save this out and close off our index.php file, reopen it. Let's do a tab. When I refresh, you can see that now we actually have four spaces rather than a tab character. And what this also means is that once I'm coding and I save, if I just do an echo here or something, notice that when I save now, it inserts a final new line for me, which is great. So everything here is brilliant. I'm all set up, ready to go. I can port editor config around with my project and the standards remain exactly the same. It's really, really useful.